Welcome to Lines to Go installation videos. Today we will be removing and installing fuel lines on a 2007 Chev Silverado 2500 HD with Lines to Go part number SS588-E. While this particular installation is on a 2007 Chev Silverado 2500 HD, this set of lines will also work for the following year, make, and models as shown on your screen now. Lines to go lines are made using original equipment end forms and fittings that are CNC bent for an easy and precise installation. We have also upgraded to stainless steel braided Teflon hoses for rust protection and to prevent surface fouling. These have an unlimited shelf life and anti-static PTFE liner. This set of lines to go lines are made from 304L stainless steel for rust resistance that exceeds OEM standards. Tech tip. Disconnect the battery before working on a vehicle to reduce the risk of shorting out the battery on tools or lines. Lines to go lines are made with a sectional design for easier installation. We also use color coded unions on our sectioned lines. Just match the colors of the connections. Tools required are a 10mm and 13mm sockets and ratchet, a flat blade screwdriver, pry bar, cutting pliers, drain pan, Lines to go disconnect tool number 5230-01 and 3145-01, a floor jack and jack stands. The level of difficulty for this installation is considered to be easy. Start by disconnecting both batteries using a 10mm socket. Next, remove the safety clips on the quick connect fittings located on the driver's side rear of the engine using a flat blade screwdriver. Release the return line quick disconnect fitting using the lines to go disconnect tool part number 5230-01. Release the feed line quick connect fitting using the lines to go disconnect tool part number 3145-01. Located below the quick connect fittings at the engine, use a 13mm socket to remove the metal bracket securing the two lines. Release the two quick connect fittings at the top of the fuel cooler using the lines to go disconnect tool. Using a 13mm socket, remove the bolt at the bottom of the fuel cooler furthest from the frame, and also remove the bolt located at the frame. Remove the fuel cooler from the vehicle. Using the lines to go disconnect tool, remove the return line quick connect fitting located in front of the fuel tank. You can now remove the line that goes between the return line on the fuel tank and the outlet of the fuel cooler. Disconnect the plastic brackets from the line and remove it from the vehicle. Using the lines to go disconnect tool, remove the feed line quick connect fitting located in front of the fuel tank. Cut the two fuel lines at the flexible connection beside the transmission using a pair of cutting pliers. Using a flat blade screwdriver or pry bar, remove the fuel lines from the plastic retaining brackets located along the driver's side frame rail. Remove the rear section of your old fuel lines from the vehicle. Using a 13mm socket, remove the nut and bolt securing the front section of fuel lines to the transmission.
Using a flat blade screwdriver, open the plastic retaining brackets and remove them from your lines. You will also need to remove the wiring harness from these connections by opening the plastic clips securing it. Position a drain pan and remove the oil filter. This step is not required, but is suggested as it allows more room to remove and install the front section of lines. Next, remove the old section of front fuel lines from the vehicle. Position your old front section of lines next to your new lines to go fuel lines and mark where to install the retaining brackets. Transfer them from the old lines to the new lines, using a flat blade screwdriver and a pair of pliers as required. Tape together the two flexible ends that connect to the engine to help feed the lines into place. Install the front section of your new lines to go fuel lines into position and secure any remaining plastic brackets. Replace the oil filter. On top of the engine, tighten the nut securing the fuel lines using a 13mm socket. Install the feed and return line quick connect fittings at the left rear of the engine and replace the safety clips. Replace the nut and bolt securing the front section of lines to the transmission and tighten using a 13mm socket. Install the wiring harness back into the plastic clips. Next, install the rear section of your new lines to go fuel lines into place and secure them into the plastic retaining brackets located along the driver's side frame rail. Install the quick connect fittings that attach the rear section of fuel lines to the front. Install the new lines to go fuel line located between the fuel tank return and the fuel cooler into position and secure it into the plastic retaining brackets. Install the quick connect fitting between the return line and the fuel cooler at the front of the fuel tank. We will be replacing the lines on the fuel cooler with lines to go part number FL591-A. Note, these lines are not included in the SS588-E set and are sold separately. Remove the two threaded fittings on the fuel cooler with a 16mm wrench. Tech note. Use a wrench or pliers to hold the fitting on the cooler to avoid putting force on it and potentially causing a leak. To install your new lines to go cooler lines, start the threaded fittings by hand and tighten using a 16mm wrench. Position the fuel cooler into place and secure it using a 13mm socket to tighten the two bolts. Install the two quick connect fittings at the top of the fuel cooler. On the passenger side of the engine, locate the fuel filter. To bleed the air out of the fuel system, use a flat blade screwdriver to loosen the plastic bleeder screw and pump the primer bulb until you stop seeing bubbles and there is a steady flow of fuel. Then tighten the bleeder screw, being careful not to strip it as it is only plastic. Use a 10mm socket to reconnect both batteries. 
This concludes the installation of fuel lines on a 2007 Chev Silverado 2500 HD with lines to go part number SS588-E. Please note, our installation today was using stainless steel lines, but these parts are also available in G2 Galfan coated steel lines with lines to go part number FL588-E. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or would like to purchase the lines you saw today, please call us at 1-855-781-5992, email us at info at linestogo.com, or check out our website link below. And don't forget to take advantage of our free two-day shipping. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe button below, and we will see you on our next video.